Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Zarina and every month I do this monthly plan with me video. So here we are. So as usual, let's start with the goals. In my goals page, I, uh, let's check out July goals. As you may already know by now, I have six categories for my goals and these are the six main points of my life. So I try to focus on each category. So let's start with health. I have been doing intermittent fasting since the end of March, but this month I have not done like even 40%. You know, I have my reasons. It wasn't like serious. I didn't have to do it. I just wanted to not do my intermittent fasting, so I didn't. Maybe at most I did like 10 days of intermittent fasting this month. So yeah, there's that. And sugar only twice, that did not happen either again. So my reason is that the minimum temperature here in summer is like 30 degrees Celsius. So I just want ice cream okay I just want ice cream so I have it so yeah I didn't do this either and flexible to 30 minutes place and back, back bends like I did some stretch routines but it wasn't every single day and my workouts wasn't every single day either which was really really bad um, so yeah I wouldn't I can't put a check mark on it and 10 real push-ups I am very pleased to say that this has happened oh finally I mean it's not as clean as I would like it to be but progress is progress I'm going to give myself a small win here um, and next up we have social media I have 25 to 30 posts on IG I started really well and in the middle, I totally forgot or stopped caring about. <laughs> so yeah, I basically I couldn't hit 25. And for next, we have eight to 12 videos on YouTube. This month, I will be able to hit seven videos. Again, in the middle of the month, uh, something happened and I couldn't focus on anything else. So yeah, that didn't happen either. Next, we have one to two informational videos on YouTube. I have one and I love it. I think I'm going to prepare more of that kind of videos. I love that video and I think people loved it too. So <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna put a check mark in it. Uh, post also to Pinterest. I haven't been doing that. Next up, I'm not going to talk much about it. I didn't do any of this and yes, we can move on. <laughs> Skills, French B1 grammar. I did some grammar lessons on Duolingo, but as you may know, Duolingo did, doesn't teach you much grammar. Like I, I got acquainted with the grammar, but I don't know much. I have kept my Duolingo streak, so at least there's that. So I'm, I want to put a check mark in it. And uh, Jamie Plou have a French version of the book It Ends With Us, which is Jamie Plou, and I want to get to t chapter 10, but I'm only at chapter 5. To be honest, I didn't sit down much to, um, to work on it. Like, that's totally on me. Um, I just need to make more time, that obviously. But anyways, um, this is... This is not going to happen either. So Blender, 30 hours of classes, that didn't happen either. Oh my God, this, all I'm telling you is that I failed completely this month. For for next category is fun. Learn songs on ukulele. Like I didn't do, I didn't work on ukulele or the guitar. So yeah. Um, next two books: Destroy My Silent Prison. It starts with us. I, like I wrote two books. Continued to list three books, but yeah, I have read all of these. I will talk about the other books that I have read this month in the like in a few minutes. Watch two movies. Watch a TV show. I have books and movies section in this video, so I'm going to talk about them separately. Overnight at the beach, we did, we were planning to do that, but couldn't like haven't done it yet. Um, and fill the column with art. Okay, I have this column right by my desk, and I want to create 
like I want to fill that wall with art, but um, I haven't filled it yet. But there is progress. I have one art on the um, on the wall, so this is not fully done. But I am proud of the progress I have made. Only because it's because I have had such a huge anxiety about making art again i am happy that i at least started making art again so that's a win enough of a win for myself the last category we have is career this is one art challenge i didn't start any challenge but i did start my protocol lessons and i am so happy about it and learn concept art this is going to take me a while so this is the last look to my goals this is so bad extremely bad like i did not do anything this month it feels like i don't know i mean i did do them i did do some things but it wasn't these <laughs> so let's start with august goals when i don't get to my goal i don't just delete the goal i keep the goal and try to increase the amount of work i do I, emphasis on the word try again for the next month i still have the same goals there are some new ones for example for health i have create and do a workout program i have been doing the same workouts every single day and i kind of get bored from the same movement so maybe if I create a program where I do the same videos twice a week, so eight times throughout the month, maybe I will be more inclined to go do my workout. At least I would do something different that day. So yeah, there's my mindset. And also I want to really, really focus on my muscle growth this time. And the washing machine is done, I will be back. Everything else is kind of the same, but this time I want to focus specifically on, like for example, I have written here French B1 grammar. I want to focus on it, like uh, make time for it when I, like sometimes I treat things as like I will have time, but if I don't make time for it i won't have time for it just because i love doing this doesn't mean i will drop everything and focus on doing this sometimes things come up and naturally i choose to do the important stuff but i still would have time for this if i planned better the reflection for this month is that i need to manage my time better i know that it is not totally up to me i understand that that's why i am not being too cruel on, on myself about that we have learned all about procreate i have a playlist where a, the the channel the playlist is teaching you the shortcuts and you know ins and outs of procreate i've been working with procreate but only have been working with it intuitively like i would know that this would be available in this app but if there are some easier ways to do some things i would like to know that so yeah i want to make time to learn about them and the other different thing in the fun category and this is just the books that i want to read um i just wrote the name so that i would definitely get to these books next up i have the content planner this month i have not been logging everything in for example there are a lot of rectangles that are empty which means that i haven't shared anything on that day but some of them should be filled i haven't i just haven't done it like i definitely fill uh, the youtube videos in but the shorts i don't do all of them but i do write them in the content tracker which is here so as you can see from july 1st to july 27th today is 28th i have been writing all the data down i don't know how much it will be helpful for me in the future but i like to see some progress for example in the beginning of the month i had um 447 subscribers and now we have 484 which is a huge boost in confidence next i always forget about this part in june my subscriber goal was 500 
100, but I reached 445. And number of videos I posted was six, and number of shorts I posted was 18. For the month of July, sub goal again was 500. And as of today, let's see how much I have. As of today, I have 476. 400 and not 70 486 subscribers and number of videos i have posted six videos but again i will uh i will update this at the end of the month because it is not the end of the month and i have two more videos coming out so it should be eight videos by the end of the month and we'll see uh, so I'm going to put down six for now and for the shorts, I'm going to put down 13, but it should be 18 at the end of the month. We'll see. That is all for the content planner. I have already planned my August videos and I obviously I'm not going to show you that. Did I tell you about my content planning agenda which i have not been using lately but yeah i have made this agenda this is specifically for my content creation because as you know like i'm doing this youtube channel and my instagram i am trying to keep active and i also want to revive my art channel and my art instagram so four accounts basically so um, there are a lot of things that I need to do so there are points like to film to edit to like goes live like um, because this is here because the video may be ready but sometimes I forget to publish it so this is as a task and and other tasks such as like writing the scripts planning researching stuff like that I don't want to have an, like special place for that so for example today is 28th as you can see here, I am filming this video today, editing today, and it goes live today. There are going to be more tasks here, but I just don't want to show them. And then we have books and movies section. Um, in this section, I have a lot more to talk about. I don't know what happened, but this month I read a lot of books. So this is my books page and here I have the July books. So, so this is the list of books I have consumed in the month of July. Here you can see that I have two, two options like I am reading and listening and I read and listened. Um, this month I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven books only this oh my god i have read like 12 books in six months and only in this month i finished 11 books wow you know i could fit one more audiobook to this month and i would have 12 books in one month <laughs> i don't know why i would want to do that like it does literally it does nothing <laughs> cutting in to tell you that I actually had 12 books exactly I just forgot to write down the other one um, from the Shatter Me series because all of the names are similar so I forgot to write it down so yeah there we go I have read <laughs> I have consumed 12 books in one month compared to 12 books in six months so let me just clear this out okay we have these books in the month of July. So I listened to the audiobook of Handmaid's Tale. So yeah, I listened to the book and I listened to it after I watched the show. I loved the show. The show was really, really slow, but I realized that I love dystopian world when that can be really possible in real life for example shatter me series is also dystopian world but it literally cannot ever happen because of the magical system stuff like that like there is uh, superhuman stuff but handmaid's tale like it is totally possible that it can happen and sometimes there were moments that we were like oh my god some of them are already happening anyways i don't want to get into that but yeah as 
as scary as this is, I honestly love consuming media about dystopian world that could be possible in our lives. The book is four stars, maybe 4.5, but uh, it's only because if it wasn't for the show, I wouldn't understand much from the book because it's like um, she had, it's like the writer had this outline and this points to her world. Like this world is like this and like that. And she gave us crumbs from her notes. In the narration part, we didn't get much about the world around us. It, again, if it wasn't for the movie, I wouldn't even know why Gilead is doing what they are doing. At one point deducted is for that um, because it was so difficult to, like you wouldn't even understand. If I'm going to do extra research, like, mm, I don't know. Sometimes it's interesting, but sometimes it is too much work. No, I read Destroy Me. It was like a really short book. Um, and it was, as you can see, it was two stars. And this is this is a series and this was a from a point of view of a villain character in the first book, but we learned that he is not villainous at all. Um, all of them was too repetitive in my opinion and if I'm sitting down to read something I don't want to waste my time on something that I have read already you know like, anyway so two stars and then I listened to a romance book without doing my research this had spicy scenes and I listened to those scenes if I knew what I was getting myself into, I would not, I would not do that to myself. I would, at least I would read those scenes or skim. My rating is two stars, not because there were spicy scenes. It's just that the book was built on extreme traumas of two main characters. But instead of talking about the traumas, we are basically they are having sex all the time and like i'm going to read you my review on goodreads because i cannot like this this says enough okay i will leave that on screen if you want like if you want you can read it the most important part is this i'm going to repeat myself here i was so disappointed in this book because i feel like all the time read the main character talk about her wetness and archer's dick could be spent on exploring their past and traumas if you're going to brush the trauma off please don't even write about it and i still stand behind that behind my word whatever i i still think that way i was so disappointed in this book and i am traumatized from the things that i have heard we have the housemaid oh my god it was such a good book uh this was about a 27 year old woman who had is this a spoiler okay this is a spoiler so so the uh, the the woman is working as a housemaid and she is seeing stuff going on in the house and she kind of turned into a bad person throughout the book but you know she was never the best person to start with she was a really she's a moral gray character and i love moral gray characters so it's it, it was okay aside from the plot twist that was awesome the storyline was awesome as well and yeah basically five stars i am loving it i don't know how to talk about books without talking about the uh, plot of it. So sometimes I just like, I, I just want to give you spoilers. And then I listened to the rest of Shatter Me series. The Shatter Me series like destroy me, unravel me, fracture me, ignite me and restore me. These are all parts from like Shatter Me series and uh, there are 11 books in total. I will continue the series even though I, it's not my favorite. I want to say, I just want to see how it ends, you know? <laughs> and uh, these are like, as you can see, I have not gave a lot of stars. Like the Shatter Me series is like either two stars or three stars. So that, and it starts with us. I have a reading vlog on that. I have gave three stars, but it is 
not spoiler free, it, it has spoilers. So basically this is about Atlas, his life basically. We don't see much of Lily and Ryle. Um, we mostly focus on Atlas and his current life. Not so much past life, but yeah, current life. So it was good, but not good enough. So three stars. Um, then I read Silent Patient with so much anticipation. Everybody loves it, but yeah, two stars. It was, it was so bad that I want to give zero. <laughs> Uh, okay, it, it's not that bad, okay? It had a nice plot twist, but it wasn't that good. Um, and then I read Housemaid's Secret. This is the sequence to... Se sequel. This is the sequel to The Housemaid, and it was good, but not as good as the first one. So three stars. Um, and then, yeah, again, I listened to Ignite Me, three stars. And right now I am listening to Restore Me, I have two and a half ish left uh, of that book, so I'm going to finish that today, if not tomorrow, so in this month. So yeah, these are the books that I have read this month. Um, yeah, I have consumed. I didn't watch any TV shows uh, this month, and for movies, I watched. Howl's Moving Castle, but I haven't finished it. I, I love anime, I love watching cartoons, and I don't know why I couldn't finish it in one sitting, so I have watched the half of it, and I'm going to watch the rest. I'm sure you would expect me to have watched Barbie and Oppenheimer, and I have not. I don't want to go to the movies alone, not because of my, like, like I don't want to go to movies alone in this country. <laughs> so I am waiting for either my husband or my sisters to be free to, so that we can go. Um, on Monday, we are planning to go, which is still this month. So if, if we are able to do that, I'm going to put it here. Um, so yeah, August plan with me. You'll see if I have watched anything in July. Yeah, this is all for the books and movies section. And I have a live feel that I, al uh, I always fill in. And this month, to be honest, is exactly the same with last month. And this month, I would like to show you my Pinterest board. For the last three months, I have monthly aesthetics on uh, my Pinterest. So this, is, this was my May aesthetic. I love it so much. By the end of the month, I could not believe how similar my life was was to this um, May board. And then we have June aesthetic. In the June, we were planning a lot of like outings and picnics. Um, the picnics didn't happen as much as I want them to, but still I enjoyed my time. And in July, we had a lot of studying to do, a lot of work to do, a lot of yoga and art and going to the beach music, artist, artist stuff, cats, um, yeah, yoga studies, like this is, this is exactly what I've been doing <laughs> during this month. And I just want to quickly create my August aesthetic and give me a second. There are some uncertainties in my life. That's why I don't know what to choose to add to my August Pinterest board. Yeah, overall, it's about going to the beach, journaling, having fun with friends and stuff like that. And over time, I am going to add some more pins here. That's it from me. I hope this video was uh, motivating for you. Let me know what else you want me to make. Follow me on my Instagram and I will see you in my next video. Bye.